Adelaide is alive once again. Already record crowds at the event that excites the motorsport public and just gets bigger and better every year. Welcome to the Clipsal 500. If you've never seen the Clipsal 500 before, it is a two-day event, two 250-kilometre events. Originally, it was one 500 day Green race. That was a killer. Moments away from the start, the Clipsal 500, the event of the year. And it's an all-HRT front row and even start. Scape, Kelly. And Kelly's got the run, and on the outside, look at that. Bursting up the inside, one of the tall HSV cars, but it's Kelly that takes the first corner. Ingle in trouble, big trouble at turns one and two. He's ricocheting off other cars. That'll do steering damage for sure. It's back the pack up. And the Radisich. team Kiwi entry of Paul Radisich was mixed up in that. Hard luck for Radisich. Wrong place, wrong time. And the front left of that car is severely damaged. Look at them fighting for position early on. It's an important time to get track position. Stephen Johnson has been able to come through the mess there. It's unnaturally spread eagled the pack. All that mid-grid manoeuvring down towards turn one. Great start, Todd Kelly. He's got a few car lengths on his teammate. Mark Scaife, the Toll HSV team, very well placed. So too Paul Dumbrell and both better electrical cars. Jason Richards got away well into third already. Oh, gave Scaife a touch through turn nine. Some, some body work came off the car too. Whether it was on Richards or Scaife's car. Look how tight this is. Radisich. Tander. Radisich will come into his pit garage. What a disappointment for Paul Radisich qualifying in the top 10 and having to come in the pits. Here's the Zinger replay. It was one of the better electrical cars that got into trouble that forced the Toll HSV car around onto the grass and there's Ingle. Yeah, it was three to two. It was a super it's always cheap when car. You fight your nails Team Kiwi and Russell Ingle start to run nose to tail. Wind Cup pops out. Has a look at his teammate. Lowndes has gone past Jason Richards now. He's really limping, isn't he? Yep, he is in major drama. He'll lose another one here, probably two spots, because Greg Murphy will go through as well. He's just leaving the door wide open. He's got a... It's not just a balance issue, I don't think. We don't have confirmation. Uh, he's got an engine problem. He's on the radio at the moment Rear to Wally's story and Wally's to there go by for Rumble. the second half of the race. We're back racing. Jason Bright's reporting on the radio that he's got an engine problem and so he's going to come into the pit lane again. Yeah, remember when they do restart, Lee, if, if once you've started at the pace, you can only you can't be any more than five car lengths apart and you can't decelerate the car. So if you see a car from this now, Lowndes has got to slow them all down, but he can't decelerate again once he's accelerated. He's got to go for it, and he does. They bunch up in the final turn, and now they're released. The slingshot happens, and Kelly is going with Lowndes. Good restart, Rick Kelly. But can he apply the pressure for the final eight laps? And at this point now, after so many safety car laps, the tyres have cooled out fractionally, they've dropped a little bit of pressure, and if you've still got your mind set in the rhythm that you had prior to that... Oh, oh someone's rubbed up on the wall on the exit Richards. of four, and that was Stevie Richards. That's exactly what I'm talking about. He's lent on the car, the grip wasn't there, and he's just drifted a little wide. I might be selling him short, maybe he got a push or a shove as well, but it's a very easy mistake to make after the tyres have cooled down a little. The market will take three, four, maybe five quarters sometimes to normalise those temps pressures exactly and if if uh, Steve wasn't happy with the car before Neil you're extremely unhappy after the restart because they've got understeer on the way into the corner where they've got no front grip and then on the way out of the corner they've got oversteer Lounge, Rick's doing a good job Rick Kelly Jamie Wincup what a debut drive for Triple Eight the better electrical car and then it's McConville and Murphy top five